Hey guys, I'm Nick and on this episode of The Scram Line, I'm going to show you guys how to make these beautiful little Christmas meringues. Now they're so easy to make, they're going to be the hit of a party. You can take them to work to the Christmas party or take them anywhere you want. The kids will love making them as well. So I'm going to go over the ingredients so we can get started. It's very, very simple. So in here I've got my egg whites in a very clean metal bowl. So I'm going to use my KitchenAid to whip these up. I've got my super fine sugar or my icing sugar. I've got some corn flour in there as well. And here I've got my Americolor teal. Now I'm going to make these kind of a bluish greenish color. And I've got some chocolate melts, which I'm going to melt a little bit later on and some sprinkles. So you can use any sprinkles you like. It doesn't really matter. Whatever you want to decorate your little Christmas trees with is fine. So we're going to get started with making the meringue. So on a medium speed, we're just going to whip up our egg whites until they come to a soft peak. Okay, so our egg whites have come to a soft peak and we're just going to add about half of our icing sugar and our corn flour. Mix it on low because you don't want a complete disaster in the kitchen. Let it mix in properly and then you can add the other half. Okay guys, so our meringue is at stiff peak stage. So you can tell it's stiff peak because it doesn't come off and it has the bird's beak. So that's what you're looking for when you, got, when you want stiff peak. Okay, so I'm just gonna add my teal food coloring into our meringue. So you can just add as much or as little as you like depending on how dark you want your meringues to be. Might have gone a bit overboard there. Okay, so we've got our colour in there. We've got our stiff peaks because it's not coming off and it's, we've got our bird's beak. So I've got a piping bag here and I've got a uh, star nozzle on the end. So that's what's gonna give us our nice Christmas tree uh, pattern. So I'm just gonna fill this up. Now I forgot to mention, I've got the oven preheating on 100 degrees behind me. These things are gonna go in on a very low heat because you want them to dry out very, very slowly. Okay, so we've got our mixture in our piping bag. So we're starting off with the first circle, the base, and then we're basically just doing a swirl around up into the top, and then you just kind of like that. Okay, so I've got all of my little Christmas tree meringues all piped I'm going to pop them in the oven for about an hour and a half on 100 degrees and then we're going to be ready to decorate them. Okay guys, so our meringues were in the oven for about an hour and a half. Now my one's cracked but I don't care because they're going to taste exactly the same and we're going to cover them up with decorations so it doesn't really matter. So over here I've got some chocolate which I've melted, some white chocolate. Now, you want to make sure you don't burn this because if you do, you'll know straight away. You can smell it and you have to start again. You need to throw it out start again. So try melting it 10 seconds at a time in the microwave. That's the easiest way I find. So what I'm going to do is, now it's just, I can't really explain it, but it's just kind of like a finger motion. You're kind of grabbing the edge of the knife and you're kind of going like that. So you want it to have like fine drizzles of chocolate on top of your meringue. So I want to put a little sprinkle of some coconut on top, make it look like there's a little bit of snow on our trees. And finally, I want to decorate it with some sprinkles to give it the illusion that we've got some lights on our Christmas tree. So that there is my beautiful little Christmas tree meringues. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this recipe. If you did, give it a thumbs up. You're going to find the recipe on thescramline.com. Make sure you subscribe and share with your family and friends. Make these for them. They're going to absolutely love them. And kids are going to have so much fun making them. If you want to follow me during the week, you can do that on social media. The links will be in the description down below. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of The Scramline.